और पिछले कुछ ही दिन पहले दो तो दिन पहले हम आप, आपके साथ स्टेडियम में मिले थे यहाँ पे उनसठ हज़ार लोग वहाँ पे थे आपके साथ बहुत अच्छे और आज बहुत सी बातें हमें यहाँ पर विचार करनी है मुख्य तौर पर व्यापार की बातें होंगी और साथ ही कश्मीर के बारे में भी बातें होंगी और बहुत सी बातें हैं जिन पर हम बात करेंगे और मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि भारत और अमेरिका के संबंध इसमें सबसे ज़्यादा प्रगाड़ है सबसे ज़्यादा मजबूत है मैं राष्ट्रपति ट्रम्प का बहुत आभारी हूँ स्वयं स्वयं समय निकाल करके आए काफी समय दिया और अमेरिका में रहने वाले भारतीयों के लिए ये बहुत ही गर्व का अवसर था और मैं इसके लिए राष्ट्रपति ट्रम्प का हृदय से बहुत बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूं हमारी नई सरकार बनने के बाद अभी चार महीने भी नहीं हुए हैं लेकिन मुझे राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप के साथ तीन बार मिलकर के अनेक विषयों पर बातचीत करने का अवसर मिला है दुनिया का सबसे पुराना लोकतंत्र और दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा लोकतंत्र इसके बीच इस प्रकार की निकटता सहजता और लगातार एंगेजमेंट ये लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों में विश्वास करने वाले विश्व के लिए एक बहुत ही शुभ संकेत है भारत अमेरिका बहुत ही घनिष्ठ मित्र हैं और मूल्यों के आधार पर हमारी मित्रता हमेशा आगे बढ़ती चली जा रही है जहां तक ट्रेड का सवाल है मुझे खुशी है कि मैं जब परसों ह्यूस्टन में था तो हमारे पेट्रोनेट ने वहां पर 2.5 बिलियन डॉलर के इन्वेस्टमेंट के साथ एनर्जी सेक्टर में इन्वेस्टमेंट का एम किया है और उसका परिणाम ये होगा कि आने वाले कुछ दशक में करीब 60 बिलियन डॉलर का ट्रेड और करीब 50,000 लोगों के लिए जॉब तो अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ा इनिशिएटिव भारत ने लिया है राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप मेरे तो मित्र है ही है लेकिन भारत के बहुत एक अच्छे मित्र के रूप में आज भारत और अमेरिका बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और मैं राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का फिर से एक बार धन्यवाद करता हूँ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माई ग्रैटिट्यूड टू प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप दैट ही वॉज विथ मी इन ह्यूस्टन डे बिफोर येस्टरडे ही टुक आउट टाइम फ्रॉम हिस्स बिजी शेड्यूल टू गो टू ह्यूस्टन एंड ही स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम विद अस and i think for uh, the indian community people of indian origin in the united states this was a location of great pride and uh, for this once again let me thank uh, president trump from the bottom of my heart uh, after the formation of uh, the new government we haven't even completed 4 months but during this period of time i've had the occasion to uh, meet president trump three times now and we've had uh, very uh, detailed and fruitful discussions on many issues uh, in the world between the oldest and the largest democracy this kind of nearness uh, these relationship of ease and this continuous engagement i think uh, countries coming together which uh, believe in democratic values i think that's a very good sign for the world uh, for uh, india and the united states uh, not only are we very close friends but this is a friendship that is based on values and uh, this will continue to uh, strengthen in the times to come as far as trade is concerned i'm very happy that uh, day before yesterday in houston uh, in uh, my presence there was an agreement signed by the indian company petronet for an uh, amount of 2.5 billion dollars which uh, is the amount of investment that the indian company is going to do in the energy sector and this will mean that in the years to come in the decades to come this will result in trade of uh, an amount of 60 billion dollars and create 50000 jobs which i think is a very big initiative taken by india president trump is definitely my friend but he is also a friend of india and uh, relations between india and the united states are proceeding at a very uh, good and fast pace once again let me thank president trump thank you, thank you.
Mr. President, you've mentioned uh, President Trump, you've mentioned trade, uh, you, and uh, Prime Minister Modi had during the Houston event said that you know the art of the deal. Can we expect something as a tr on a trade deal uh, in, in talks today, uh, or what the U.S. and India can do together to boost trade ties going forward? Well, I think very soon. We're doing very well, and Bob Lighthizer, who's right here, was negotiating with India and their very capable representatives, and I think uh, very soon we'll have a trade deal. Uh, we'll have the larger deal down the road a little bit, but we will have a trade deal very soon. Mr. Trump, Houston, you said about, you have been talking about, you know, camping down on terrorism from across the globe. Pakistan has been the global epicenter of terrorism, sir. You spoke about it in Houston. How do you make sure that you clamp down on terrorism from Pakistan? Because that is uh, posing a threat to democracies like the U.S. and India. Even the business interests suffer because of continuing terrorism. Well, I had a very good meeting with Prime Minister Khan. Uh, it was a long meeting, and we discussed a lot. And I think he'd like to see something happen that would be very fruitful, very peaceful. And I think that will happen, ultimately. I really believe that these two great gentlemen will get together and work something. Uh, I also, uh, you know, you, you mentioned Pakistan, but Iran would have to be at the top of the list because if you look at terrorist states, that's been the number one for a long time. But I really believe that Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Khan, they get along, they will get along when they get to know each other. And I think a lot of good things will come from that meeting. Oh, President, President, President Trump, Trump, this is the most spectacular. back, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan admitted that 40, 30, 40,000 of uh, terrorists are still in Pakistan. And yesterday at a, a think tank event, he again admitted that the Pakistan Army and ISI trained Al Qaeda. Separately, there are reports that thousands of uh, terrorists are uh, ready to enter uh, to infiltrate into India. Uh, in this backdrop, what you would like to uh, give message to Pakistan? Well, I mean, the message is not for me to give; it's for uh, Prime Minister Modi to give. And I think he gave that loud and clear on the other day when we were together. He gave a pretty loud message. And I'm sure he'll be able to handle that situation. Yes, sir. President, President Trump, this is the spectacular show you had with Prime Minister Modi in Houston. Uh, what is the significance of this event for India-U.S. relations uh, and your personal chemistry with, uh, with Prime Minister Well, Modi. my personal Thank chemistry you. is as good as it can get. I have great respect. I, I have great admiration. And I really like him. That's another thing. And he's a great gentleman and a great leader. And I remember India before, now not intimately, but I remember India before, and it was very torn. It was a lot of dissension, a lot of fighting, and he brought it all together. Uh, like a father would bring it together. And maybe he's the father of India. We'll call him the father of India. I think that's not so bad. But he brought things together, and you don't hear that anymore. So uh, I think he's done a fantastic job. But I think that what the event showed is how much I like uh, the country of India and, I, and how much I like your prime minister. Uh, I, there was tremendous spirit in that room, too, and, and they love this gentleman to my right. They really do. Those, those people went crazy. That was like Elvis. That was like an American. He's like an American version of Elvis. <laughs> it's like we brought in the middle of a, an all-American deal. Elvis Presley came back. No, he was, uh, that was quite something. They love your Prime Minister. It's a great thing. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, in Houston, you said that you, you stand with India in fight against Islamic radical terrorism. How do you see the statement coming from the Pakistani Prime Minister admitting that the Pakistani state, the ISI, trained Al Qaeda? How do you see well, and I how do you see that? that? I haven't heard that, and I know this that uh, your Prime Minister will take care of it. So well, is there a roadmap to deal with radical Islamic terrorism? It would be great if they could work out something on Kashmir. We all want to see that, I'm sure. But isn't terror a bigger issue, sir? Pakistan state-sponsored terror. Is there a roadmap to deal with Pakistan state-sponsored well, terror? Reporters. I wish I had reported like this. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing better than anybody I've ever heard. Where do you find these reporters? This is a great thing. <laughs> now, look, you have a, a great prime minister. He'll solve the problem. I have no doubt about it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.